The next property of a object oriented programming that we are going to learn is called inheritance. The, exactly as the name suggests, uh, inheritance means inheriting some property or some asset or some function from one object to another object. So in object oriented programming, in order to represent the real world, it is sometimes necessary so that a class is derived from another class. The original class is called parent class and the derived class is normally called child class. So the relationship between them is called a parent child relationship. And in order to easy understanding of inheritance, you can think of just like the normal inheritance. So, just consider a family where the son has a son or daughter has their parents. So, the son or daughter or the child can inherit lots of different properties from their parents. So the child may have the similar eyes as their parents or the child may have the similar type of behavior, similar type of uh, way they are talking. Their talking is very similar to their parents. So all these things uh, we call that the child got by inheritance. The exactly same thing is possible in object oriented programming also. So here basically the parent class, let's say a, parent, a class has several data like integer characters or something and some methods and this child class can access, can access all the parents data and all the parents method. So one parent can have multiple children like this. Each of these children can access all the data and the method of the parent class. And uh, normally in object oriented programming, it looks something like this. So this class is called parent. This parent class has an integer var1 and the character var2 we both of them are data and they have function 1 and function 2 two methods now it is possible to do to write another child class which inherits the parent now in order to inherit a programming language can use different keywords or different operator to tell the compiler that this child is actually inheriting this parent. There can be different types of operators possible. But whenever you will inherit, what it means is this child can access this var1, var2, function1 and function2. That's the main thing. Whenever the child inherit the parent, it can access all the variables means all the data and all the functions that is all the methods of the parent class and that is called inheritance.